the odd box. Howdy guys and gals, Mikey V here with another episode of Coin Roll Hunting. This time we are going to be looking through a box of nickels here to try and see if we can find some buffaloes or silvers or anything else that might be worth more than face value. I'm going to start off with this roll here. As always, it never hurts to wear a pair of gloves of some sort when you're going through change or any kind of currency because it is all really filthy and it's better to have that end up on a pair of gloves than on your hands. Right off the bat, I'm seeing some gray edges which could be an indication of either an old nickel or silver nickel. There's two kind of right side by side there with one in between. Let's pull those out right now and see what they are. It's a 2003. Oh, that's not even that old. And a 2011. Okay. Not old at all. I will just uh, look through the rest of these real quick and see what we can find. We've got a 2002, 98, 2013 Philadelphia, and 1999, 2000, 2016, 2007, 2013, 1988. There's an old one, 1946. Just after the war ended. So not quite. 1994, but that's the oldest one so far, 1988. 98. 89, 1979 with a really odd rim to it. 1985. 1999. 2001. A lot of modern nickels. 2000. 2011. 2011. 2000, 2016, 92, there's another old one, 1956, 2015, and 1970, somewhat older, 1964, those are pretty common though. We have a 2005, it's the Ocean and View design, and 2016. So not too much in that role, but I'll go through it off camera for anything that might be errors or otherwise. So wrap up time. We've got a bunch of oddly discolored ones for various reasons. Uh, the two next to it here look like they were probably PVC damage. As you can see, one of them looks like it's already started peeling off. And next to that, we've got Emo Jefferson. And then we've got the post-mint damage ones. Uh, clearly caught in machinery. Some kind of damage that was done to them. And then next to that, we've got the four coins out of the bunch that are actually going to be worth keeping, that are worth more than face value potentially. I'm going to have to do a little bit more research and looking into those four, but they're definitely worth more than face value. 
And we've got the two oldest coins here, two 1939s, both in pretty junk condition, but they were the oldest two out of the box. And we've got the ones that I'm probably going to keep here for starting a book eventually for Nichols. They were the nicest of their years that I could find. And then we go to the unique errors over here. We've got this one here, which is laser etched. You can see there's uh, dots going up from Liberty. It's uh, under magnification. It's a little bit more crisp. And then next to that, we've got... I would have originally said that this was a really thick coin with a bad planchet, but I've been told coins that kind of look like this are, uh, are spoon coins, where somebody would take some kind of tool and flatten out the edges with the intent of either turning it into a ring or just be out of boredom. And then next to that one, we have a really weak strike with not very clear details at all on any of the fields, which is kind of neat. I'm probably going to keep that one. And then the find of the box is my very first pendant coin with a hole through the head of Lincoln or uh, Jefferson. All the way through the coin, I'm probably going to turn that into a necklace. All right. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe, Mikey V, signing out. I'll see you on the next one.